welcome back. Local officials implementing new measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 ahead of the holiday weekend and now a new disease with pandemic potential. Plus, well, someone here in San Antonio is now a millionaire. Here's today's nine at nine. It was another record breaking day for our area with more than 1200 positive cases of COVID-19 added yesterday. That brings our total since March to San Antonio and Bear County of positive COVID-19 cases to 12,065. Mayor Ron Nirenberg said capacity of staffed hospital beds has dwindled to 23%. We are approaching uh, the July 4th weekend, which is going to be a very dangerous one. So we've also included that social gatherings and family gatherings shall be no more than 10 people. Mayor Nuremberg and Judge Wolf sent a letter to Governor Greg Abbott to ask for more authority as cases and hospitalizations surge in Bear County. The nation's top doctors now warning that COVID cases could nearly triple in the coming days. I would not be surprised if we go up to 100,000 a day if this does not turn around. 17 states either pausing or rolling back reopenings and warning against large gatherings. A new strand of swine flu that can spread from pigs to humans has been discovered in China and is now triggering new pandemic fears. While there is yet no report of human to human contact, there is reason for concern. A team of investigators found unidentified remains yesterday in Bell County, which could be connected to that missing Fort Hood soldier, Vanessa Guillen. Investigators are still working to confirm an identity. The New York Times uncovering a possible financial link between Russia and the Taliban. The transfers were likely part of Russia's effort to offer bounties for the killing of U.S. and coalition troops in Afghanistan. The White House refusing to say whether President Trump was briefed on the matter. With just hours to spare, the U.S. Senate passed an extension to that Paycheck Protection Program. It provides aid to small businesses struggling during the coronavirus pandemic. The move extends the program to August 8th. A San Antonio resident now millions of dollars richer thanks to a scratch-off ticket that paid off big. The winner spent $50 on the Premier Play scratch-off, ended up winning $5 wow. million.